Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are all fine. We know the importance of light. Without light we cannot see anything. In this video we are going to learn about an important property of light which is known as reflection. I will explain the concept of reflection with the help of a simple experiment. To demonstrate the reflection of light, here I have a transparent box. In this I place a plane mirror at the center of this box. Then I close it, I project the laser light from this uh, toy laser. Now I project light on the mirror. You can see a spot of light here which is the result of a reflection. But the incident ray as well the reflected ray is not visible here. To make it visible I place uh, some incense stick which gives uh, smoke continuously. I am going to fill this box with the, the fumes of incense stick. I leave it for a few minutes such that it uh, gets filled with the fumes. Now the box is almost filled with the fumes. Now I project the light from the laser toy. You can see. Now I hope uh, the path of light is visible. Here the light comes from the laser toy and hits the mirror. This is called as incident ray and after reflection the ray of light is referred as reflected ray. If you look at this carefully you may find that the angle of incident and angle of reflection will be equal to each other. I repeat the same with green laser. You can see the same thing happened. Now it might be better visible compared to the red uh, laser. This is incident ray, this one is reflected ray. The bouncing back of light from a reflecting surface is known as reflection. Let me explain the theoretical part of reflection of light. As I told you earlier, it is a phenomena in which light bounces back from a surface. Let us consider a reflecting surface. Now this, this is a reflecting surface. I draw a line. This line which is perpendicular to the reflecting surface known as normal. This line is called as normal. Normal is always drawn perpendicular to a surface. Now a ray of light which hits the reflecting surface is called as incident ray. What is drawn here this is the incident ray. Incident ray. After hitting the reflecting surface it gets reflected. I show the reflected light with a different color. This is the reflected ray. I repeat, a ray of light which starts from a source and fall on the reflecting surface is called as incident ray and a ray of light which gets reflected from the reflecting surface is known as reflected ray and the line which is perpendicular to the reflecting surface is known as normal. The angle between normal and incident ray is known as incident angle which is denoted by letter I. This is a incident angle. And uh, the angle between normal and reflected ray is known as reflecting angle. 
representable letter R. Now let me explain you what laws of reflection say. The first law of reflection says that the incident ray, the incident ray, the reflected ray. ray and the normal all of them lie in the same plane like in the same plane it is obvious from the diagram you can see incident ray Reflected ray and the normal. All of them lie in the same plane. This is known as the first law of reflection. Now we'll go ahead. We'll find out what the second law of reflection say. The second law of reflection says that the angle of incident, which is I, equals to the angle of reflection. It is you can see this from the diagram. Here, angle of incident is seen to be equal to angle of reflection. Suppose, angle of incident is equal to 30 degree. Then, angle of reflection will also be equal to 30 degree. If angle of incident is 45 degree, then angle of reflection will be equal to 45 degree. I hope this video is useful. If you have any kind of doubt related to the topic, kindly put your questions in the comment section. Thanks for watching.